Hey, everybody, it's Jason from Collision Hub. Hey, I just got done with a welding training program with one of our technicians. And he, along with a lot of other technicians I've been working with lately, um, was using some thicker wire, some 030035 electro, electro wire. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about electro wire, specifically the, the diameter. We're not going to get into um, ER70S6 or 3 or even the Bosch high, you know, high strength wire for Honda vehicles. I just want to talk about the electro wire diameter, um, specifically around um, 024 wire, uh, my personal preference for a lot of collision repair welding, especially on the thinner materials on today's vehicles. Now, when I say 023, uh, 024, 025, even 0.6 millimeter, all kind of using those interchangeably. Um, I say 024 more, more often than the other ones, but um, they're all pretty much the same electro wire diameter. So depending on the welding, uh, where, you're, where you source your wire from, that number might be a little bit different, but um, know that we're kind of talking about that, that wire in general. Now, when it comes to this particular diameter electro wire, I pulled this from uh, Hobart, I believe. Um, for their 024 wire, they're saying you can use it on materials as thin as 24 gauge, 0.6 millimeter material, uh, all the way up to 18 gauge or 1.27 millimeter thickness material. And again, there may be some variances based on um, where you're sourcing where you're sourcing your electro wire from. But generally speaking, 024 electro wire can weld on the majority of unitized structures that we're going to be dealing with. Now, granted, if a vehicle manufacturer has recommendation for uh, 030 or 035, we want to defer to that. Um, however, the bulk of OEMs um, don't offer an electro wire diameter specification. They may uh, they may they tell you what type, ER76 or ER703, but they don't often get into the electro wire diameter. And we've got a couple examples of some vehicle manufacturers that do specify it or tell you, give you a little bit of, of guidance on that. Now, when I look at this General Motors vehicle on the right, um, you can see that a lot of the, those materials are, you know, 0.65 material, one millimeter material. Again, everything on this chart um, would be appropriate for um, the, the thinner electro wire. Again, save those areas where in the procedures they're calling for. Uh, spot welds or some other attachment methods of saying, generally speaking, the thickness of the material um, and the electrical wire that we're talking about, this 024 electrical wire, is appropriate. Um, again, if we're welding up frames, not necessarily, but the majority of unitized structure parts, 024 wires would be perfectly acceptable. Now, when we look inside of our welding machine, we're going to see a chart. And, and again, that this chart for this particular welding manufacturer is telling me that, again, I can use... 024, 030, 035 in that 16 to or 24 to 16 gauge area. Um, but again, we still need additional heat when we're using that 030 or even the 0, especially the 035 to, to, to make those wells. We just don't need to be putting that much heat into the, a lot of these joints. Um, this is also from Hobart. Um, and I wanted to kind of, this is a, a, an excerpt that I thought was kind of important, kind of speaks to what I'm talking about here. So both 024 and 030 uh, solid wires can be used for welding 24 gauge materials. So again, pretty thin material. The voltage and wire feed speed vary though. Uh, a 24 thousandths of an inch wire would operate at 13 to 15 volts with a wire feed of 130 to 160 inches per minute. Whereas 030, 15 to 17 volts, 75 to 100 IPM wire feed. So again, we need more heat when we're working with that thick, thicker electro wire, and we simply don't need that type of heat when we're welding on these thinner materials, that 0.65 to one millimeter material. So um, if you're getting panel warpage, if you're getting excessive burn through, be looking at things like that. Uh, when it comes to vehicle manufacturers, uh, this is from Stellantis. They do call for 0.6 uh, from o at 023 to 025 electro wire for 0.6 millimeter up to 1.02 millimeter material ford says follow equipment manufacturers prescribed procedures and equipment settings for the type of work with er 70 three or six so again based on the material thickness the welding manufacturer parameters they're giving some latitude as far as what you as a technician should choose i would encourage you to be looking at that 024 electro wire especially in those section and joint locations even on a ford where we got a bunch of with backing uh, I think you're going to like it a lot better than those thicker electro wires. Um, one more vehicle here. This is for a Honda vehicle. Uh, they've got a statement that says typical ER76 wire um, can be used when welding up to 440 megapascals. So again, on this quarter panel, in that section area, we've got, we've got an open butt joint. 
I'm not even butt joint with backing. I've got to make that that that's that that open butt joint welding in that sail panel area. Um, you're really going to like that O2-4 wire a lot better than than that thicker wire. So um, I would certainly encourage you to to look into that if you're not already. Um, it just we don't need to be putting that much heat in there. Um, and lastly, as we're making our switch from thicker wire to to the thinner material, make sure that we're changing dry rolls and make sure we get the appropriate contact tips and gun line, liners to go along with our equipment. So um, again make the switch to 024 for the majority of closure repair welds. And I think you're going to be a lot happier. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.